to. Anyhow, I use 14 karat acid when I test my silver. I find that, especially on this newer uh, tough stuff, and any of you buyers know uh, what I mean by that, you get the rhodium plated, you get the gold plated, you get the exotic metals, um, foreign things, pewter bases, and you name it, uh, we've got it. And you've got to use a, a whole variety of testing methods to scout that stuff out and then a lot of people don't even mess with it there's a piece that's uh, probably not silver and the only way I could tell was by bending it uh, remember when uh, old timers would remember that this is how your acid used to come uh, and not that very many years ago um, you would get your acid in a little I believe they're called amplets uh, it's a glass tube totally sealed and you would bust that open quite a lot of danger was involved and then you pour them in in there and now we get these plastic uh, generic kind of acid bottles but uh, no fault they uh, they work fine and uh, the acid seems to be just as good as as what we used uh, back in the day so no fear that's cheap eBay acid that uh, was just incredibly cheap for a whole set. Now, <clears throat> these are a couple pieces of tubing, and I wish I hadn't already bent those, but I, I bent those sometimes earlier, uh, and that was a way that I was testing them. They didn't look quite right to me, seemed too hard and all, so I went to bend them, and I don't think you're going to be able to see that, but uh, they cracked, and whatever plating this is uh, cracked, it didn't feel, didn't bend like silver and these well may be silver but uh, they have a rhodium finish on them that has cracked up because it's harder uh, that's my guess but we're going to give them a, another test this came from a jewelry manufacturer now when I file that there is no color change under the surface uh, that makes me think that that they probably are silver, but let's find out. And it, it indeed does test good. Um, so anybody has these silver lots, uh, and they they tend to get knocked down if you try to sell these <clears throat> because you know the person testing this stuff will make some mistakes and you've got to allow something for these new and exotic metals like I'm pretty sure that's what this is uh, the way that it had broke and you can pretty much tell by uh, by filing these uh, silver pieces once you get used to the way that that files uh, the way the file flows across the piece <clears throat> it's probably a good idea to always use the same file in your testing and then that helps you get used to how a file feels on uh, different types of metal and that that piece did turn out to be good uh, the seller that I bought this stuff off of is, is very good and basically he's one of the kind of guys you can trust because you know that if he brought it in he spent the money on